Hi everybody, this is Randy Suits with a letter and a song. Letter, the letter for October 4 is Softly She Calls Me. It's dinner time and I'm watching the news in the loft and softly she calls me. Kohane, dinner's ready. We're walking along the lake and Eve sees a pair of swans swimming nearby and softly she calls me. Look, Kohane, a pair of swans. It's time for bed and she has retired to the bedroom and softly she calls me. It's time for bed, Kohane. In so many ways, she is my timekeeper, my compass, and my companion in good times or bad, in happiness or sorrow, in certainty and uncertainty. She is my darling, my companion, my conscience, and my passion. I hear her voice, I know her voice, and I listen for that sweet tenderness of her voice when softly she calls me. Great God in heaven, your servant is thankful for that moment in eternity past when you conceived her to adorn your creation, placed us in the same time frame, and brought us together. Holy Father, only your voice is sweeter than her voice, for softly you call me. Softly you called Eve, and softly you called us to your salvation and plan. In your eternal wisdom, you give each of us someone to call softly to our soul, as a foretaste of the tender, holy voice of you, your Son Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in heaven. While we are on earth together, your servant and his Eve praise your name for the love that sustains us, and I shall always find peace in her love for me, as softly she calls me. For your sake, and uh, you make my life complete, your Kohane. Sometimes we, we tell it like it is from, from the bottom of our heart. And those are moments that God gives us. You know, he's opening our understanding when we're speaking these things. Uh, not only do they come from the core of our being, they come from the core of the being of the Most High God. For children, we were created in his image. And... We uh, walk about in, in his image, and we glorify his name when we respond to things uh, in accordance with his will. And he's glorified in those things. Um, the letters that we read, they all revolve around one thing. And what it really revolves around is not the spouse, or the woman, or the man you love. What it really revolves around in the core of its message is the Creator God, the Most High God, and His Son, Jesus Christ, who sent the Holy Spirit to guide and direct us in our ways. So let's be thankful, and let's, let's humbly acknowledge Him the things that he does in the goodness of our family life and our friends and acquaintances. Today, the song we picking is the we picked is the Isle of Innisfree. I've met some folks who say that I'm a dreamer. And I've no doubt there's truth in what they say. But sure a body's bound to be a dreamer when all the things he loves 
are far away And precious things are dreams Unto an exile They take him over And across the sea Especially when it happens He's an exile from that dear lovely eye of Innisfree. And when the moonlight peeps across the rooftops of this great city, wondrous though it be, I scarcely feel its wonder or its laughter. I'm once again back home in Inish Green. I wander o'er green hills through creamy valleys. And find a peace no other land would know. I hear the birds make, though dreams are soon reality. memory is a precious thing and uh, uh, in that memory we also recall the blessings and the presence of God with us and so let's look forward folks to doing those things that God has created us to do standing firm in the word aligning our will with his and 
being a blessing to God as he is a blessing to us. As you know, scripture says, draw near to me and I'll draw near to you. So let's do everything in our power to draw near to him, removing all obstacles that stand between us and the Most High God. And now, my dear friends, it's been a good day. May the Lord, even the Most High God, be with you in all that you think, say, do, and are. Thank you for being, and God willing, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.